Hey, bro! Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> They both try to chase you, they both try to torture you, they're both kinda scary. It's Piggy versus Granny. Two run and gun horror video game icons will fight it out, but only one will survive. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of ads. Oh. First things first, Piggy is not the actual Peppa Pig. This is also not Peppa.exe or Monster Peppa. This isn't a creepypasta, nor does this have any canonical relation to the Peppa Pig series slash universe. What Piggy is, however, is a survival horror game created by Minitoon, which of course is a parody of both Granny and Peppa Pig. The Piggy game has two main elements. You can play as either a survivor or Piggy herself. Yourself. The goal of the survivors is, well, of course, to survive. You have to try and escape without Piggy turning you into human bacon before that timer runs out. And on the flip side, if you play as Piggy, your goal would be to kill all the players, or at the very least, stop them from escaping before time runs out. The main story in Chapter 1 starts off with a police officer trying to find out who was the man behind the slaughter. Well, not actually, this isn't a FNAF meme session. What he is actually investigating is the disappearance of George Pig. Upon leaving the car, the player hears a weird noise and gets hit in the head. He then wakes up in a house and has to escape. I know it's ridiculous, these are pigs. But upon doing so, he drives back to the police station to report what happened. Now I'm not here to spoil the entire plot in the game, I'm here to tell you what Piggy can do and how well she can do it. Piggy has some numerous powers, abilities, and items that make her a dangerous threat. For starters, Piggy loves to set up traps. There are many different types of traps, from default traps, small traps, big traps, alarm traps, slow traps, egg traps, and black hole traps. Many of these traps are self-explanatory, such as the default, small, and big traps, which operate kinda like bear traps and can hold a player down for at least 4.5 seconds. And then there are things like the black hole traps. If stepped on, it doesn't do anything to you if you don't move, but if you try to run from it, it drags you into it. If you jump, it pulls you back in with more force. Piggy, of course, has her iconic baseball bat, which in many cases is a one-hit KO if you're in the Piggy game, but a multiple-hit KO if you're playing Jailbreak. Piggy has some fair durability. For example, Piggy can survive pistol shots. With the pistol firearm, this thing could knock Piggy out for 20 seconds. Since this doesn't kill Piggy permanently, this can at the very least mean that she has wall-level durability with superhuman regeneration, or it could mean that she has large building-level durability with normal regeneration. As for weaknesses, Piggy is still technically a child, and all children have brains that are still developing. This means that if she is facing an adult with more life experience in the art of trapping and jump scaring people, then she could easily be outmatched and tricked into losing. Uh, hey, my kid can't see. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Fortnite Battle Royale. Now they just released a new game mode. The origin of Granny is far more simple than you think. She's your mom's mom. Was that too hard to figure out? Actually, it is possible she could be your dad's mom. Oh wait, you're talking about THE Granny, not YOUR Granny. Okay, let's talk about THE Granny. While there isn't anything official, rumor has it that she's actually Slenderina's grandma. We can theorize this because 1. The developer of this game also developed the Slenderina series, and 2 there are a few Slenderina easter eggs that you can find within this game. So why on earth would an aroma 
Roma of Slenderina just appear in this house out of the blue. It's more likely that she has a reason to be there than just because she randomly feels like showing up. Now I can't confirm that Granny is Slenderina's grandmother, but boy would it make a lot of sense. It would definitely explain why Granny looks like some anorexic glub glow gab galab. So that's your game theory level origin. Now you're probably wondering what makes this Granny so powerful. Well, she's got a few tricks up her sleeves. And before anyone says she has no sleeves, well, you got me. She doesn't have any. But she still knows a thing or two about being a possessed monster. Pretty much Granny locks you in her house and you have five days to find a way to get out before you know what happens. Granny loves carrying her bloody bat and she will not hesitate to club you with that thing. She may be a Granny, but that doesn't mean she's friendly. The real question here is, would you rather be spanked with a ruler by a bold teacher or clubbed with a thick bloody bat by her own grandmother? Granny is dangerous because she has home court advantage. It's her house and she knows it like the back of her hand. Granny can hear anything and everything in her house and will go towards any noise. Some items make more noise than others. The player could get out of sight from Granny by hiding behind cabinets, beds, and other areas to prevent them from being seen. Granny is also skilled at setting up dangerous bear traps in order to lock down the player so she can easily come up to you and then beat you to a pulp with her bat. Granny has two main weaknesses. Firstly, she's old and bitter. She has bad arthritis as it seems since she can't go to areas that require heavy crouching to get to or to cross the wooden plank in the attic. She will not wander in the backyard or lower half of the secret area on her own. However, she could go there if heavy noise is made there. Also, Granny is weak to tranquilizers. When hit with a tranquilizer dart, Granny will be knocked out for 2 minutes, 1 minute, 30 seconds, or even 15 seconds depending on the difficulty. After that, she will either respawn on the blood stain in the basement or somewhere else in the house. There is a 50-50 chance of either happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say what? And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! The last episode? And 
the winner is Piggy, and quick shout out to Zach for that fat mouth breather animation. Hopefully his series gets greenlit by Adult Swim. So yeah, Piggy versus Granny. While Granny might have more experience, especially since she is far older than Piggy, the statistical discrepancy between both characters is too wide for a slight experience edge to even factor greatly. Yes, Granny has been doing this trap and attack game longer than Piggy, but Piggy is far more durable and far stronger. She even arguably has better traps. Granny would have little to no counter to the black hole trap. Piggy can KO Roblox characters who are easily building level in just one hit, and Piggy can survive bullet shots and fully recover from them within 20 seconds. Granny is far weaker, has far more basic and fundamental traps, and would not be able to find a permanent solution to put Piggy down. I'm not saying Piggy is omnipotent by any stretch of the imagination. What I am saying is that Granny herself is just physically inferior to Peppa's worst nightmare, making the winner of this battle Piggy on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. We gotta get Joe back.